I must admit I was pleasantly surprised by the quality of this NASA report and also the content. It is hard to decipher but has several quality gems or findings about it. So let's take a separate look at the more important ones. Force placed on the body while rebounding. How gravity and rebounding impacts our body is special. The forces placed on your body when you rebound are equal at all points. This is a very important point for a couple of reasons. It means you are working your entire body equally and not working some points but stressing other points. It means, and they state this right in the report, there are some points in time where running or treadmilling is inefficient. If there is an inefficiency in a workout program like treadmilling, then there are detrimental points when running on a treadmill. It impacts joint points on your body negatively too. If the force on your body by rebounding is placed equally, you are not expending or losing energy at that point. You are storing it. At detrimental points in treadmilling, you lose it. As the force is placed on your body during a rebounding workout is equal, you are not wearing joints points in your body. Your body is pretty well completely aligned when you are rebounding. So the rebounder works all the tissue in the body. It works all the organs and all the tissue of the organs too. It works your spine and your skeletal too effectively and more importantly correctly. Because the rebounder is efficient not inefficient you have more energy for use after rebounding. Oxygen uptake on the rebounder. It's all good. The rebounder actually oxygenates your body. This is critical to a healthy body and the NASA report actually proves that there is way more oxygenating properties when it comes to rebounding versus treadmilling or running. It helps the body store energy. More oxygen equals more energy. In fact, one of the studies NASA did showed that rebounding can oxygenate your body and gives you an extra 68% better energy output than running or treadmilling. Here are some of the bullet points on oxygenation. The rebounder energizes your body. Can you live without oxygen? Oxygen is used by the body as a fuel. If a body gets oxygenated more during exercise while doing less work, it equates to more energy accumulated from your workout available for future use. In other words, you just don't lose that extra oxygenation or energy right after your workout. It depletes over time. Treadmilling or running actually burns more energy leaving you with less than a rebounding workout. The bottom line here is you have to do way less work or expend way less energy to work out when rebounding. You store energy supplies with rebounding. You can very easily replenish oxygen stores too with minimal effort in a minimal amount of time. That should be very important to a pro athlete for a variety of specific reasons. Oxygenation is very important to a body. When a body is run down or decaying like that of a senior citizen, if the senior is given a prescription of oxygen to improve their health, it is quite a fast fix in regards to restoring a bit of energy to them. Notice how much energy oxygen therapy gives a senior back. With rebounding, you are working your body and getting an extra 68% in some cases. Energy means work, oxygen is energy. So. If you are creating an extra 68% of energy during your workout, to us, you are working 68% more of your body, all systems, all muscles, all cardio, 68% more. This is probably the most important point. You can heighten your energetic field even more through other techniques and then rebound, which just means more of the above good stuff. Showing or teaching you how to energize your body more is part of our specialty too. It is great to have this energy enhancement and combine it with rebounding. This is not a finding of the NASA report, just a statement by us at Body Be Good. Using your rebounder for just that, rebounding. 
At Body Be Good, we teach you how to use or incorporate other facets and our routines into your workout in what we feel is a safe way. But we basically formulate these around the correct way to rebound. The NASA report stipulates that the rebounder places equal force on all parts of the body, head to toe. That is why when I see weird positioning stances or poses on the rebounder, I'm a bit leery of those. It misaligns the human body and in time, misaligned rebounding isn't good posture wise. It hurts you. It could, probably, and most likely will give you back body problems down the road. We at Body Be Good feel. Now please don't confuse things. I have Wing Chun Kung Fu. So I sharpen practice my martial art moves. Sharpening a skill set is one of the facets you can incorporate on the rebounder. But I don't get into misaligned body positioning when bouncing on the rebounder. Wide stances are no good. At one time in my life I was about 20 pounds heavier on my right leg due to an injury. So I also get rolfing therapy. Rolfing is a body alignment therapy. It balances the weight on both sides of the body equally. It gives a body freedom of movement, better efficiency, quickness, reflex responses. People who have a bad back posture or a car accident victim see a rolfer. So I understand how the rebounder can influence body alignment in regards to the NASA report. I don't like some types of misaligned rebounding. A personal opinion, which is one reason I say do rebounding right. But the NASA report does indicate the rebounder can help with postural alignment if done right. So those are some of the very key benefits which NASA revealed. This is what we found in the NASA report, rebounding versus running on a treadmill at bodybegood.ca. Cheers, Dave Scrivens.